We've had uh, several reporters out here all day covering this story. We're going to begin tonight with Chris Rinalis. He was here early this morning. Talked to the sheriff earlier as well, and we're going to backtrack a little bit because the sheriff gave some more detail early this morning about what had happened. Yeah, that's absolutely right. We know a little bit more now from that briefing we just got than we knew a little bit earlier. But through the course of the day, we've been putting these events together, and we now know from what they told us earlier today that all of this began in the middle of first period. We all hope it will never happen here, but today the string of school shootings came to Kern County. The sheriff says just after nine, the shooter entered a second floor classroom at Taft Union High School and opened fire. Police say he used a 12 gauge shotgun and shot a 16 year old male student almost immediately. He fired uh, the first round striking another student. That student is at the hospital, a 16 year old who is in critical condition. Uh, but stable at this point. Cops say he tried to shoot a second student, but missed. Police say that's when the teacher began talking to the shooter, trying to calm him down as students ran from the room. Uh, the teacher at that point was trying to get the students uh, out of the classroom and in engage the uh, shooter who had numerous rounds of shotgun shells, a 12 gauge shotgun, numerous rounds in his pockets, and he engaged the student or uh, the suspect with in conversation. A campus supervisor showed up, was outside the classroom, and together they engaged in conversation with this, uh, with this young man. And at one point, he put the shotgun down, and uh, police officers were able to take him into custody. Eventually, the teacher and another school employee were able to convince the shooter to put down his weapon. The first Taft police officer arrived within 60 seconds of the first 911 call and took the shooter into custody. The victim was airlifted to KMC for treatment. We know that the the teacher, we know the uh, campus supervisor, uh, they are some really awesome people. Uh, they did a great job in protecting the kids, and we can't thank them enough. And uh, so now you can see everybody is really uh, lauding this teacher and this supervisor for what they did. Of course, nothing that you would ever be trained in and when you go to get your teaching degree to try to talk down a gunman, but these two did it and they probably saved a lot of lives. I was told earlier, as many as 28 kids in that classroom when this went down, so dozens of lives saved today. Yeah, the sheriff said that eloquently when asked about how did this teacher know how to talk him out of this gun in essence and said, well, that's just what teachers do. They know and love their kids and they just have that innate skill. Right. It's not it's not anything that they were trained to do. It's just instinct. Yeah, all right. Chris Ronalis, thanks a lot. We'll check back with you tonight right. at 6 o'clock.